Hey everybody, wanted to share my vintage Fisher. It's me, Rush Hall, with a vintage audio review. Hey, if this is the first time you're seeing me, subscribe, click the bell icon to not miss a video. Check this out. Uh, kind of all-in-one stereo thing from back in the day. This is the, uh, the basement studio kind of thing. Got my mic right there. And here's a component system Fisher. This thing, put some stickers on it. Uh, got the little turntable with it. It's a red tip kind of a thing. Uh, but it actually returns. It's got a, it's got a, it's hard to see. Hold on, bring some light back there. It's got a little balancer in the back, so it's, you know, again, this is from the 80s. This is vintage. It works. I can, I can copy tapes. <laughs> that was the thing anymore. Uh, um, it runs through the auxiliary on this machine, so everything, it just runs through here. This has a way better radio. Speaking of KISW, 100 FM it was back in the day. 99.9 um, but it's a little dusty in there this is on uh, the last video I did for upgrading the red tip and I'm going to put one of these in uh, in this old 80s stereo so yeah this is an upgrade for upgrade of the most supplied starter needles they come with like a ceramic um, deal and I've never changed this since I've had this thing for I don't know maybe 10 years I bought it at the thrift store down the street let's take a closer look oh my gosh there's dirt in here really bad look at that the basement studio but you got screws on top here yeah this is not a cheap uh, starter needle is it maybe it is maybe it's not but look at that it's got the screws in it yeah, you could easily drop a really nice needle in there, it looks like. Look at that. It is a starter needle. That's embarrassing. Very dirty. The music from here plays in the backyard, by the way. So I've got speakers in the backyard that are hooked to this. I got speakers up on the eve of the house. I got rock speakers. They look like rocks. I've had them for decades and they still sound good. And they've been outside in the year in the Pacific Northwest for years. I also have uh, an old Dell computer down here. And uh, here's this, this thing I used to have this. I found this at a thrift store, but I used to have one of these just like it when I was a kid, just a teenager sitting on my you, uh, bed stand this I carry this thing around with me and it was just played tapes man cassette tapes back in the day but this one doesn't work um, but I bought it just as a <laughs> reminder of days gone past when I uh, yeah when I had that that listen to KISW here in Seattle our rock and roll radio station back then um, but here's uh Found this for free uh, on OfferUp uh, or Facebook Marketplace, can't remember. This doesn't really work very well. Um, it's a Technique CD player, a carousel. It's kind of messed up, looking for another one. Um, but this, and checking out, I found the, the manual from back in the day, Fisher, uh, Vintage, man. 1985, it said there in the uh, manual, PDF manual. So it's 35 years old, this uh, piece of audio equipment. My review on the uh, Fisher here, 35-year-old, it's, it's been great. It works fine. Sometimes, though, I have to adjust the volume a little bit because it'll... Um, one of the speakers will cut out, right? Like one of the channels will cut out, like the left side will cut out for a second. But if I just move this just a hair, and then it brings it back. 
like I'm sitting out here listening to jams and all of a sudden the right channel, the right speakers are gone. <laughs> it's weird. And then I got the other channel again. But I've had to do that every so often. So it's something in here is getting old. Um, and the tape player is kind of funky. It's still... But, yeah, it's still got the cool little light in the back there. Um, sometimes when I push play, though, tape, I have the CDs hooked up to the auxiliary here, carousel CD player. Um, but, yeah, it, it's, it has this weird kind of pulls in a little bit. But it plays fine, you know, it plays tapes fine. I don't want to get flagged for copyright. That's why you don't hear anything. 35 years old. I mean, this is just, and I think what really shines is the turntable. Like, who knew? I had, I can't, I thought it was just another red tip deal, and it's not. So, yeah, I got my, this thing doesn't open all the way either, by the way. It's got <laughs> my little homemade shelf here. Uh... Yeah, I got my microfiber cloth. Wipe it down a little bit. It's gonna be on YouTube, man. You think I wanna clean this thing up a little bit? Another trick I learned watching some of the uh, YouTuber vinyl channels out there. Uh, using magic eraser to clean your stylus, aka needle. So yeah, here I was reviewing this and didn't even know what I had. Look at that. So I cleaned it up a little bit in here, the microfiber, but check out this arm. Like it's not the bent kind of arm, but it is, you know, a little bit diagonal. So it goes with the spin of the record. I just thought it was a cheapy, you know, kind of like my all-in-one upstairs. But no, this is, uh, it's got a balancer back there. You can see that. I'm trying to get the camera in here. It's got a balancer, which uh, you can turn that dial to adjust the weight and how much the stylus sits on the record. So yeah, this is a really cool old vintage turntable. Yeah, it's like cheap plastic, <laughs> but 45 and 33, so no 78. I don't see a 78 button on there, but yeah, man. Vintage turntable. Fisher. Back in the day. So to demonstrate the speakers, I uh, put on <laughs> Silent Partner uh, YouTube. Love those guys. Use some of their music a lot in my videos. Uh, so, anyway, I got speakers over here. This thing runs, I got this in a thrift store for like a couple of bucks. And it's got like some kid for Legos or something in here. <laughs> so, but it's still, I have different speakers hooked up on this one. All right, with the uh, Rock Angel playing. That speaker's been hanging out here for years. <laughs> Need to clean my gutters too. But check it out. It spun around. I put a license plate on the other side. Uh, but it still works. It doesn't look like it's going to work for long if I don't cover it or do something. And then there's another one up under the eave there. It's in a lot better shape, but it's still pretty beat up. Under here, I got one of my rock speakers. Still sounds good. There's the other one just outside the window there. Right next to the, uh, the waterfall here. All right, so we got this for free, by the way. Offer up. I had to write stuff on here to remember where things are. <laughs> so put it on the tuner. How does a tuner work? Yeah, this tape is in rough shape, man. I don't know what happened to the case to it. Stray Cats Rock Therapy. 
So yes, in conclusion, if you're gonna ever get your hands on one of these, <laughs> I recommend it. Check it out, I put the memory radio stations in here. It's, it's pretty sweet. So there you go, some of my uh, vintage audio stuff. And I gotta work on that speaker, I know. <laughs> but uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, I'll see you around. Might as well check out some of this other stuff too while you're here. <laughs>